What's going on YouTube? It's Asimov Dookie Gaming. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I just want to give you a quick update on the Alienware R7 Aurora. Um, as you all know or have looked at my previous video, I got this computer in in uh, November. Um, anyways, I finally got my entire gaming setup done. Um, two things that uh, I'm going to go over is I'm going to go over the Alienware Control Center and then the Command Center. Um, just so everybody can have a good look at it. Uh, or if you have any questions about you know what it actually does, blah blah blah, or if you're thinking about getting an Alienware yourself. Um, today I'm going to be using my brand new Corsair Void Pro wireless headset for the mic um, and I'm going to not use the condenser mic. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, real quick, what you're going to do is you can either do it down here in your taskbar or you can go into uh, Alienware folder and pull either up. Now, let me explain the difference. The control center is after you have another Alienware product. Uh, for me, I have the Gaming Pro keyboard because they ended up giving me uh, a lot of cash back uh, for making the purchase through Dell Finance. So I decided to go ahead and use it and purchase this keyboard, which is a great keyboard. And it works great with the computer itself as far as the uh, RBG. All right. So you have the control center, which is for the extra stuff like the keyboard or the mouse. And then you have the command center, which controls uh, pretty much everything that's going to be with your Alienware. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the command center first. Uh, you're going to see the command center pop up here after loading. The first thing that you're going to see it go to is your thermal settings. Now, I'm running a 1080 Ti graphics card. Um, and usually if I'm doing anything at all, it's going to stay around 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. There's only a couple games that make it go up to about 80 to 84, but it'll sit steady at 84 with my GPU fan running at anywhere from 40 to 50 percent. Not ever have I had it running at 100. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh man, 84 degrees is too hot. That is just what it runs with PUBG. Everybody that I know that has a 1080 Ti graphics card is going to have that happen. Um, now, first off, if you see here, you got your uh, HDD sensor for your hard drive, your CPU sensor, uh, your PCI sensor for your M.2, and your GPU sensor. It tells you if your CPU pump is running, if you have like a cool, uh, which I do, and your GPU fan. Um, underneath that is where you can do automatic or manual, and you can change the RPMs of your top and front fan. Now, let me say this. I haven't had any issues with keeping it at automatic. Um, I think Alienware does a pretty good job at doing this on a daily basis, so they have it set the way it should be set. I run some pretty hellacious games on it, and I haven't had any issues. Um, so, for that being said, I would recommend just keeping it at that. If you're a tweaker, then all means just go down to manual. You'll click manual, and you can change all that good stuff. I do not recommend doing that. Um, here you can set profiles so for instance if you wanted to create a new profile and you can set profiles for anything and I'll go over that in a second but say you want to create a profile um, and you want to uh, have it to run one way if you're doing graphic design but another way if you're doing gaming you can just go in here and set what you want for your fans and stuff okay all right secondly I want to show you this you see these little arrows right here that my mouse is pointing to well if it's down like these three are that means that I have these things and then they're on my second monitor and uh, let me drag them over here but you can have them actively sitting so you can watch them and I do this for the simple fact of yeah the GPU does run hot when I play PUBG so I want to just make sure it does stay steady at about 84 or lower but um, maybe you want to capture your CPU sensor and just keep an eye on that. Well, you can do that. All you do is hit this and it'll show up here. If it's facing northward, then it's still inside of here and it's not on your screen. So anyways, I'm going to shove these little puppies back here on my second monitor so I can get a get it back. All right, and that's pretty much it for the thermals. Now, let's go here. Now, you have your buttons here that you can change um, with your... Uh, mouse whether you want to go to the FX the fusion blah 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 or you can go to uh, on launch what to show you uh, I always go to thermal controls to start out now let's go to alien FX I'm gonna go ahead and click that 
it's going to take a second it's going to pop up this is what my r7 currently looks like right now um, it's the nucleus i think it's a pretty cool uh view um, i actually have the nucleus on my pro keyboard as well and i match that with my uh, Corsair M65 Pro mouse and also on the headset so I've got everything pretty much color coordinated here uh, but you can change the themes here and it's pretty cool if you see here um, it's my it's my keyboard but anyways say if I want to change the theme I could just go to theme find a theme that I like say galactic I think it's purple or it's red and that's it and then you hit apply and it'll apply it and your computer changes colors it's that simple uh, say you want to make your own so in that case what you'll do is you'll do a new theme start from scratch here and then you'll just pick your color so I want color number one what is that that is the face that's a little alien uh, say I want to make that yellow and I want to make one side purple and then the other side green well I can do that and then you just save it, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to cancel, and I'm going to go back to Nucleus. All right. Anyways, that's it for that. Alien Fusion. Uh, this is basically quick settings for the Alienware, i.e. if you want to uh, require the password on Wake Up. Uh, power button action, shut down. Uh, so you can read it for yourself, but basically that's all this does. Um, advanced settings you can go in and do different things for uh, everything that's in this computer pretty much um, alien adrenaline uh, I have not really messed with this yet um, I guess basically what this does is it creates a profile um, for certain games that you play so if if you play like PUBG or whatever you can go in here launch the game and or when you launch the game uh, it will switch to that profile instantly. I'm not going to use that. OC controls. Okay, so I do not overclock. I don't, there's no reason to. I have a, a 7800K processor and I have a 1080 Ti graphics card. What in the fuck do I really need to overclock for? I don't. But if you want to, it's as simple as hitting yes on overclock and going to overclock what you want. Now, I have had this do something funky before where I overclocked it. The computer shut down completely. It only happened once, um, but it shut down completely, and it literally fucking reorganized my desktop, and it was just, ugh. I don't know what it was, but anyways, it was probably because I was already pushing it, um, but it only happened once. I don't usually overclock it, so it's not a big deal. Anyways, that is the... Uh, that's the gist of the command center. Um, I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to go into Alienware. And then I'm going to go into the Alienware control center. This is, again, this is where I can set up my control for my keyboard. And yada, yada, yada. Uh, and save that as well. Um, what's cool about this control center is I can do, like, literally every nook and cranny on this keyboard so for instance if i wanted to make all the keyboard a certain color and then if i wanted to at that point do my brown keys or do my arrow keys or do my fn keys or my macros of the ambient which is the uh color that's literally underneath the keyboard and, and going around the keyboard uh, you can do that so, and you can make each zone, or you can go by zones. Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Zone 5, macros. Um, and you can do it that way too. I prefer key groups, because I have my brown keys a certain color, and my macro a certain color, and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, um, it, it's that simple. Uh, I really don't have anything else to say about that. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my page, and also there will be a link in this video to my Twitter and a link to my Twitch page that you guys can catch me and come chill with me in a live stream. Thanks, guys.